All righty. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the KO Show, episode five. That means we've lasted longer than majority of podcasts. Everybody give a round of applause. Woo! Everybody clap. We're pumped. All right, we're really excited about doing this, as always. It's something I look forward to every week. Um, we've done it three times on Thursdays now, and I actually kind of like this date. So we might keep that. But outside of that, uh, I'm KOB, Chuck. What's up? I'm Grayson, the G. And Noah's watching his team, as he should. Um, I believe they just lost game one. Uh, so Noah will be in here later. Could be in 15 minutes, could be in 20 minutes. We'll never know. Hopefully his team comes back and wins. So, uh, we got a few things we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about Sunday school. Not necessarily the results. We'll just kind of go into that just a tiny bit. Um, we'll talk about Nintendo. As you guys know, Nintendo has done their, their stuff, but I don't think it's Doom. We'll talk about some Let's Make Moves pool. Um, mostly just our West Texas people, and then we'll kind of look at Top 8 and kind of talk about that. And then our fun topic will be what characters deserve rework. So if you guys are interested in that, me and G had a quite lengthy conversation today while I was in my conference. I was more focused on learning about what reworked characters were going to do instead of my conference and learning. Um, so don't tell my job. But outside of that, guys, um, welcome in. And we're excited to get going. So, I guess we can begin with some life updates. Um, I'm out of town this weekend, and I'm going to enter a tournament, which is wild. Last episode um, kind of motivated me, and I am going to enter Frame 8 in Abilene, hosted by the Atsy in chat. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm not entering singles, unless something changes, which it most likely won't. Um, and I'm going to be teaming with Vibe. Um, for this tournament. I've never teamed with him before. We're meant to practice today, but he stood me up. And we're going to go from there. <laughs> G, any Smash updates, life updates that you want to talk about? Smash updates, life updates. Um, Halloween's coming up. Ooh. So me and you were talking yesterday. We're trying to get the coordinate the family outfits going. So we're doing the same yeah. thing. I do have a son who's about to turn two. So we're going to be a, a shark. I'm daddy shark. She's mama shark. and He's baby shark. So. Let's go. If you don't do the baby shark dance, yeah. um, you got to do so it's it. It's his first Halloween where he can actually walk around and he's talking to. We'll probably get him say trick or treat and all that. So That's life. Been working really, really hard. Getting Working long hours on my own business. So It's been really rewarding. But that's uh, back into WoW right now. Oh, Last yeah. We're going to get in WoW next well. week, huh? um, Our ultimate goal for me and Chuck, we're going to defeat the Lich King together. And then I'm going to start Final Fantasy. And... Let's go, Viper. Smash updates. I've been uh, destroying Chuck, of course. Um, Bob has been catching these hands also. I've been pit playing hey, a lot we did good at Dubs team. yesterday. Yeah. I feel like I, I have a really strong understanding of Fox that I've never had before just by playing him. So I'm way more fascinated into the light now and actually the character. I've been playing a ton of Fox. But um, I'm excited for the ladder. I will immediately stop playing Fox when the ladder comes out. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the ladder pretty seriously. When I play Fox, it's not seriously. It's just I enjoy the character, and I think he's a lot of fun and really cool, and the perfect Smash character. I'm excited for the ladder to come out. I'm gonna go pretty pretty full on Diddy. That's my best character, I think. Some people have told me otherwise, but um, go full on Diddy. See how high I can go. Maybe top I don't know. Top 100 is a lofty goal, but that'd be awesome. Um, so I just we'll see. Be we'll see. I gotta see how there. it works. But I'm excited for the ladder. That's kind of my smash life right now. Um, I do have an open Friday tomorrow. I don't know what tournaments are tomorrow. My first open Friday in Let's months. Wait. So uh, might, UTA might be hosting. I might look into that. Might might take a go. game at it. I might peep it, see if I can get some motivation to go. But Let's go. Chat, if you think uh, the G should enter a tournament tomorrow, press 1. I know Dan the Man's going to say yes. He didn't even know that's what you look like, so he said what's up. Dan the Man Dan is the, the GOAT. I hate playing Dan the Man because he is corny. <laughs> he is corny. You mean grabbing his thing? Oh, it's but crazy. It's my fault because I can't mash, and uh, he is really, really good DK. Oh, yeah. It, that... It's okay to be corny and also really good. I hope it's Cause... not insulting. Uh, Waft is corny, and I know that. So um, I was going to say, like, Dan the Man and um... – he's, he's a great player. Yeah, like, uh, they have a team called Dongachu. And Pikachu DK, it's really awesome. Uh, they yeah, actually cargo throw a thunder thing. When they do the same thunder thing we do when they kill the zero when they cargo throw it, I'm like, dude, 
I like, actually, love, um, I actually love y'all. Yeah, it's, it's fun to play you guys. Um, it's it's always fun. I, you know, small tangent. Um, we're in a Wi-Fi double chat, guys, and um, there's a lot of people in there who are very good. We'll say that. Uh, there's also a lot of. I don't want to call people out because I'm not calling individuals. Um, but Wi-Fi doubles in general is a lot of Wi-Fi strategies, and it's not really doubles. It's Hey, my buttons are better than yours, and I'm abusing Wi-Fi, so I'm better. There's a lot of teams in there that do know how to do team combos. Those are fun to fight. But since we're super team combo based, we like seeing team combos. I don't like playing against people who just kind of camp on the side of the stage and then like laugh and then do some stupid option and it wins. Uh, I like playing teams that might do things that we'll see in a real bracket. Um, so I really enjoy playing um, Dongashu and all that stuff. So your quick shout out. Uh, also, but yeah, I talked to you a lot about Pikachu stuff. Not not Dan, but whatever the Pikachu name I forgot is what his name is. But I know y'all talk a lot, and he comes in and supports you and all that. So it's good to have another Pikachu ally who can uh, yes, who can vent to me. and absolute... talk about your nine million SDs on and blame it on. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, we're going to first talk about Sunday School. Um, Vibe did win Sunday School over Spritzy, which I thought was really cool. Um, considering that Spritzy has had Vibes number this year. I don't know what – let me see what their record is this year. But, I mean, that's pretty big in um, the heat of Lubbock Smash. I have not updated the rankings yet because your boy is just kind of lazy, um, to be quite honest. I keep forgetting to put it in, but I don't know why I'm forgetting the Pikachu's name too now. I had it off the tip of my tongue. Mine's partially because I'm tired. Um, yeah, the – Vibe is ten. It's ten and eight, um, in Spritzy's favor. So I mean, that's pretty crazy um, to see. So it's going to be interesting to see the end of this season, considering we are in the second half of the season. So hopefully we get more very hot sets. But we had Vibe in first, I believe, Spritzy in second, and I don't remember who was third. One of his shows. Lose is fine. Oh, Nationwide in third. Um, which is our top three. Top three hasn't changed in a very, very, very long time. So, oh. Oh, my gosh. There we go. I messed everything up. Um, But, yeah. So, but the big news coming out of this tournament is the fact that someone stole from the LCU venue, and we are no longer allowed to have tournaments there until things change. Um, it's really unfortunate that things like that happen. Um, it happened back in the past, but we knew who did it because they had cameras. And that person got banned for life. Um, there's no way for us to figure it out unless the person comes out and says it. And that would help the rest of the scene because then we'll be able to have tournaments again. But for now, that's on hold. So the only tournament we will have is Should Have Teched, which is the Lubbock free local until other people decide to step up and run a tournament. Before you ask Chuck, no, I will not, because I am focused on my podcast and potentially competing, but now that I don't have a tournament I can actually go to, because our free tournament starts so late, and it's on a Friday, and I work, your boy is not competing. Um, but I am like 90% sure I am going to the Freaks Regional next weekend, which the G will also be going the second I sign up. And we will be entering doubles, which is going to be pretty awesome. So hopefully doubles chat tunes in, and hopefully um, we see a lot of good teams and other people, I guess, from Lubbock go or anybody in the area. I know I'll tell Steph to go. Um, I'll try to convince Diani and Sergio to go as well. But, yeah, what are your thoughts on this whole LCU thing? Um, do you know what was stolen? I'm just curious. Anything? They said it was – can I say this on stream? Modding material? Um, so, like Jig, um, I think some cords have been stolen, and I don't think this is the first occurrence. I think it's multiple times this has happened. It's been small things, but now they're kind of sick of it, so they're saying we're done. Yeah. Uh, I think – as sad as it is, maybe they should have been a little bit more prepared for this. I mean, this has happened before. This has always happened. I mean, we could go back and stories when I was in Lubbock, and I have multiple 
instances of people stealing stuff and getting caught red-handed stealing stuff. And especially when you're at a game store, I mean, it's just like, yeah. it happens all the time. You can't trust these people, period. Nobody, unless it's like, unless it's Chuck, which he's one of my best friends on the planet. I'm not trusting anybody ever. <laughs> I'm not putting my bag down. I'm not like people are scummy. People are scumbags. Yep. Um, and I think as a university and as a, as a host of the tournament, you should be prepared for that. Um, but I don't want to put the blame on LCU by any means. They're, they're doing something super nice for the community and they're going out of their way to help the community. And this is how people treat them, which is sucks. So my kind of take is LCU should be prepared for this to begin with. Cause this is how smashers are. This is how people are in general. People are scumbags. Um, and if you are that scumbag that did that, you should own it and confess it. Maybe you'll get a ban for a year or something, but it's probably better than if they find out. Usually these things do come to light eventually. Um, yep. But, I mean, what else can you say? Don't don't steal. Don't be a scumbag. I mean, but it's going to happen. It's going to, I can promise you, it's going to continue to happen for till the end of time. So if you are an organizer, you are a TO, come prepared. Um, put up a camera. It's not that hard to put up a camera. I just put up six in my gym by myself like last week. So put up a camera. Be prepared. I mean, this stuff happens. It's just, it is what it is. It sucks. And as a smaller community, you know, like Atsy's just saying, got $200 stolen from him. Um, as a TO, yeah. I always designated multiple people as people I trusted for when I couldn't watch stuff, like I'm playing a match, I'm doing a stream, I'm doing something like that. I'd be like, hey, G, can you watch the money real quick? And he'd be like, yep. And he sits at the table and watches the money. He doesn't go play games. He sits and watches, right? Um, I would have multiple people that I trusted to do that. Um, and then not only that, if you are seeing people look like they're doing something suspicious or taking something that you know is not there, uh, make sure you say something to the TOs. Um, you're not a snitch. You're, quite frankly, protecting your scene because it could be you. They take your controller. They take oh yeah, That would be the big thing. Like If someone tries to take your controller, I've had that happen. Always mark your controller, for example. I, don't, I think I have it here. So I don't know if you all can see. I put a rubber band on mine. Because I've had people try to say that they're, they're taking, or like this is my controller. They swore on it. I'm like, why does it have a rubber band on it? And they're like, oh, okay, you know what? So, do it. You do have to do your responsibility, right, to make sure that things aren't getting taken. But if you do see somebody doing something like that, please say something. And you know, I applaud LCU for um, putting their um, foot down and being like, okay, you know what? Everybody's getting punished now. We're gonna not let. People go to tournaments and because they know they're the biggest tournament in our city and, quite frankly, the biggest local in our region outside of El Paso. And, yeah, so hopefully the person comes out and says or they find out who it is so we can move on past this. But for now, it's looking like it's going to be on hold until the, I'm assuming, January. Yeah, quite I mean, like you said, it's literally protecting your scene. If you see something like that or even if they're, you thought they were your friend or, like, like I don't know about y'all, but I'm big on loyalty and big on... Like, if, it, if they're not my friend, if they're due, they would do something like that. And it's not because I love Smash, I love the scene that much. It's just because of who I surround myself with and the people I want to hang out with. And if they are those type of people, then they're not the type of people I want to call my friend, just period. So I would have no problem just being like, hey, you're being a scumbag. <laughs> so, and I'm going to tell, tell the T.O. you're being a scumbag. Um, yep. But I, the, can I mean, the stuff is expensive. biggest thing is loyalty. So yeah. That is as long as there's stuff there that's worth stealing, which there always will be, systems are expensive, wires are expensive, technology is expensive, uh, switches are expensive, even like first party Nintendo ports are like gold, you know, or controllers, controllers are expensive. As long as that stuff exists and it's always going to be expensive, so people are always going to steal. It just is going to happen. But protect your scene, and now they don't have a, they don't know how to tournament. That's what really sucks is the people. If I was a competitor, I was that was the one that I was looking forward to every single week or whatever it is every single month. Then now, now I'm out of tournament. Now it hurts our scene. It hurts our PR. It hurts our talent. It hurts our growth. Just because one person decided that's what they wanted to do that day. Yep, it sucks. But as Smash goes, we live on. Um, speaking of living on, the next topic we're going to talk about is something you've probably heard about a ton as of lately. And it, it is going to be the Nintendo Switch Tournament Guidelines. Um, right now, I cannot find it um, on Twitter because your boy completely forgot to search it. Um, but long story short, I mean, you guys have seen the news, right? Nintendo has now set out... Um, 
Nintendo guidelines. There we go. Um, set out tournament guidelines for community tournaments. Okay. Um, we're not going to go through it all. Switch to it. Mostly because it's very long. Okay. Um, but some of the main points. Uh, this guy, I think, did a pretty decent job of talking about it. And this is from Nintendo Japan, so clearly it's different for America. Um, but if your tournament, it to run a community tournament legally, okay, this is technically legal. Um, it has to be under 200 entrants. You have to be non-profit or for no profit, okay. And you can't pay over. I think in America it was twenty dollars total. Thirteen, I thought. Uh, twenty for U.S. Okay. So twenty dollars for the United States, okay. Um, you can, they caps the amount of money you can win in a, a year, ten thousand dollars, which means if you win a lot of tournaments, you have to calculate how much money you're winning because you can't win more than ten thousand uh, dollars. And no prize can exceed five thousand dollars for your community ran tournaments. This is without a license. Okay, this is without a license. I want to make sure that's very clear. Okay, so this would include tournaments such as LCU, Texas Tech, ACU's tournament this weekend. Uh, any Bomb City Brawl. Technically speaking, all of the they have to follow every single one of these guidelines to be legally binded, I guess, with Nintendo. If Nintendo Ninjas come by and see, I don't know what they're going to do, season desist. I don't exactly know um, what they can legally do, per se, but this is the guidelines. If it's online, it has to be 300 people. The big kicker is they, they don't allow sponsors whatsoever, which I find very interesting. Um, you cannot have, and like anytime you post on YouTube, you have to, I believe, have written consent with every person who you're showing in the video, which is easily done by when they sign up for a tournament, they sign a waiver saying they're allowed to post. You're allowed to post these videos on YouTube. Pretty simple, okay. Um, but if not, they can technically check, and I believe you also have to post your financial records. Um, but I I saw something online saying that. There is a code in the U.S. government that you don't have to do that. So, don't know how Nintendo's going to get around that. Um, what else was there? Can't play any modded versions of the games. Goodbye, HDR. Goodbye, PM. Um, Goodbye, Melee. Online yeah, Melee. Online Melee you cannot do. And if you're playing Melee, it has to be vanilla. It cannot be... Um, I forgot what the mod pack's called. Um, but the one that fixes... Oh. UCF. Can't have UCF. Not allowed. Okay. Um, they do have a lot of frequently asked questions on here if you guys do want to go through and look at it. Um, but people thought at first, and I was one of the people, that when this came out, it was this is the end of Smash. Um, it does make it harder for communities, but you just really have to make sure you're following the rules. It's effective November 15th, so all these tournaments coming up are fine. Um, but you have to make sure you're not you cannot make money off your tournaments is basically what Nintendo's trying to say. Um, if you're hosting a tournament, you should be making zero dollars off it, no matter what. There's a lot of other like nitpicky, nitpicky stuff, like no food or drink. Yep. You can't have any vendors, so yep. you can't bring anybody in. People who sell controllers, people who sell whatever it is game related, they can't. No vendors, period. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of little use stuff. Third party. People either. I think that technically means like a lot of characters are not. Yeah, like Mayflash alert. can't use Mayflash. Like any yep. third-party equipment, all that stuff. Um, so it, it's it's tough. Um, but like people are saying in chat, I don't, I don't see how they enforce this. But they're not coming to Lubbock, Texas. The ninjas will not be there, and <laughs> stop us. Okay, now, I'm not saying do it. I I would suggest following the rules as closely as you can. Um, but like we're never gonna have a local over 200 people. Um, I think you should might as well just sign a waiver, especially if you're showing people on stream anyway. Um, I would do that just so people can't be like, oh, you got to take me. Nope, you gave me permission. That is it's kind of like a NIL, just signing your rights away. Um, what is it? I forgot what else was like super big. But the reason why this isn't doom and gloom, okay, is the fact that the t or in Japan this is already active and tournaments have been getting their – license within a day and 
that's good if Nintendo is going to do that. So you apply for your license, then there's different rules for that. I don't know if they're public. I'm sure Nintendo sends it to them. But I believe that makes it to where you can get your sponsors. You can exceed the limit. Um, you can do a bunch of different things. I'm sure there's approved sponsors you have to do. And then Nintendo will also help with your event, right? Um, the thing that I found very interesting was people are now realizing that Panda knew about this before and was trying to be that liaison so that when this happened, as long as you're flowing through the Panda Cup, you are fine to run your event. Does that make sense? It kind of like an added layer of protection so that Panda was taking all the blame is what people are thinking. Which is another area where Smash kind of shot itself in the foot. As mad as I was at how that scenario was handled, I, I thought we handled it as a scene horrendously. Because Panda was doing something very good for the scene. It was the only company I've ever seen to actually create a licensed circuit for Smash. And we shut them down and we're never getting it again. It's not happening. <laughs> no company should want to. Um, until next game, I guess. But even then, I would be skeptical. But this is what we're going to have to deal with. So, yeah. Yeah. I think Panda's goal was all the big tournaments report to Panda and Panda reports to Nintendo. It's kind of like a hierarchy. And they, these tournaments and these TOs were really proud and grassroots. And they said, well, no, we don't have to report to anybody. We don't need you, Panda. And then, well, Panda. And then Panda's got a bad rap. There's... Everybody's grassroots with with Smash. Everybody wants to be like we always have, which is I think is pretty detrimental in general. But um, that's how I kind of panda went under the went under the bus. They came and went, and they will never be back. They got burned never. for sure. Yeah, that's what sucks. They were doing a lot of good things. As much as you like them, I don't understand why our community hates anybody who <clears throat> does something for us. Um. Like, I understand being frustrated with it not being grassroots. I mean, I was at the tail end of the grassroots era, U2, um, where we did have to start bringing our own stuff to tournaments. And we did have TOs having to do it all by themselves. We didn't have tournaments every single week. So you, you had to go to these big, um, your big regional tournaments that we had. And when a $200 pop bonus was nuts, and everybody had to go to that tournament because it was a big pop bonus, you know. Um, so times have changed, clearly. I think this won't be as bad as what people think. Um, and I hope that people don't just go doom and gloom and actually consider trying to follow the rules. I know we don't have a good relationship with Nintendo, but from my understanding, outside of the local, like, no community, I mean, if you just apply for a license and it's really not that bad, then you can yeah. run your event. I watched you know? the Xbox video today, and he pretty much went over the Japanese post and how the guy was talking about how he, he got 10 straight events um, allowed by Nintendo in a row. You can do 10 oh, at a wow. time. You can do 10 at a time. So he was talking about how he could do 10 coin boxes in a row. So he has to go back and pretty much get a new license every two and a half months ish. Um, so like you said, it's a one day turnaround, not bad. So the way Hbox was putting it and obviously if you, Hbox is one of the heads of our community, if not the head of our community, so, so I think he's the one that's in the forefront of getting these licenses, especially Coinbox is like the biggest online series ever of any game. I'm pretty sure I've never heard of anything like it. I mean, think about what was it five grand a week or something crazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So he's already or three k, three k. He's already like way deep into it. He thinks that it's not going to be a big deal at all. He's pretty optimistic about Ultimate. He is pretty doom and gloom about Melee. He's like, I don't know how we're ever going to do anything on Melee because it it states pretty strictly in there like no modded games so that kind of kills me immediately but and this and people who are worried like oh it's in lubbock what are they gonna do so the ninja zone is where yeah we're not really talking about lubbock we're talking about the smash scene in general and that is hugely detrimental to the melee scene and i mean that yeah. series is carrying melee scene as far as wi-fi melee goes and now it's gonna cease to exist so it'd be interesting i mean me and you like melee we're on kind of the different ones who actually Root for Melee, we watch Melee, we have our people that we like, and I'm a big Hbox fan, so I would hate to see Melee go away or not be able to Me survive too. this, for sure. Especially since Melee is in the absolute, like, great, an absolute great place right now. Um, big House was great. That... Big House was a great turning for Melee. Awful turning for Ultimate, I don't know if we're talking about that, but... Yeah, I, I was going to kind of skip off on that <laughs> one. Um, yeah. Talk a little bit about 
big house melee. Uh, melee. It is a melee tournament. Um, people got to understand that is okay for it to be a melee tournament. Okay. Uh, it's I... also okay that Rise and Grind was a Smash Ultimate tournament. That's it's okay. It happens. Um, but we, I guess we will talk about. It. I mean, it was quite embarrassing seeing the crowd um, at tournaments. I hope one of the cool things, at least for me, right? And I'm a sports guy. The atmosphere of events and having people cheer and everything like that is what makes an experience for me. I really love that part. Okay, that's why I like going to big tournaments because I get to see that live. Okay, and I feel like it's mostly an ultimate problem where they just don't watch ever. They always want to play. They're always on that grind, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But, like, you want more people to invest in your events. You want more people to um, come to them. You, you got to make the experience great. So, like, if you look at the Big House crowd, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Um. And it was embarrassing. Now, was the top eight the worst um, top eight ever? Yeah. Uh, I think it's very high up there on the this really sucked scale. Oh, okay. Is this it? Oh, this is Big House last year. What? Okay, here we go. So this is the crowd for Melee. Awesome. And this is the crowd for... No, I'm kidding. Um, where is the ultimate crowd? Your yeah, it's not very good. Right? So, when you guys do go to your tournaments, even like your own locals, I think it's important for you guys to watch some of it. Get hype. If you see a hype set off stream, like, watch it. Get excited for it. You don't need to be playing all times because part of your job is to be the community and get excited when you go to these big tournaments that we'll talk about in a second with luminosity makes moves miami like hype your boys up make it a fun time when you have these regionals like all our monthlies like our top eight shouldn't just be two people watching and no or uh two people playing and no one watching like if you're at the venue try to watch get excited i know when i'm commentating i always like i mean, clearly it's been a minute i haven't traveled to an event but i always try to get the crowd involved i always try to Get people to come watch MC kind of thing, um, because it does it does make a break a tournament. I think it makes it a lot more fun, and everything like that. Yeah, you want to say anything I, on that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that top eight, like you said, made it super hard to watch. I wouldn't probably have stayed <laughs> and watched that. I would have loved to be uh, to be quite frank. And, and I'm an enthusiast on watching and cheering on, especially top eight. If I paid money to go to a big event, then I, oh yeah. So I think probably 60, 70% of that is the characters in the top eight. Um, but I think the other 30, 40%, like you said, is kind of ultimate player base and the grind mindset. And you don't always have to be playing to be getting better. People don't understand that. You can watch and get better. I've lo I've learned countless things from just watching, watching Tweak, watching Gluto. I mean, I hit stuff all the time. You're like, oh, that was new. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I watched Gluto do it last weekend. So... You can, you can get a lot better watching the game playing. If you do the same habits and you're just playing on loop and you're not getting better, what's the point of just playing? That's, that's how I see it. Tweak does not play that much. I mean, he plays Wi-Fi every now and then, and he's not a big friendly people. He has the same group of people he plays friendly with, like three or four rotation. Other than that, he's, he's studying the game. He's in the lab. He's thinking about the game. He's, how can I get better? So I think just playing the game and not having goals or purposes or something you're working on, you're not getting better. That's how I see it. You're just wasting time. Yep. Or you're just doing the same cycle that you that you know. And if it works, the player's probably worse than you. If it, um, yeah. if, you're, if your loop's working, then that just means the player's worse than you, and they're not being able to adapt to what you're doing. So, yeah, make sure you guys watch. Um, and even the majors, like, make sure you watch them online, talk about them, tweet about them. That's how it helps the game. Um, so I don't think Nintendo's ending our world it is troublesome for Melee, but like chat says, we, they are the cockroach of competitive games. They will survive, and as Mango said, um, if we're going to play in garages and be hot and sweaty before our eight-man tournaments, sure. That's how it has to be. Um, I was saying you could even potentially do like a Champions League format now. Not necessarily a circuit, but oh, hey, the winner of these Texas region... Uh, Regionals get invited to 
the major tournament at the end of the year. It's similar to a circuit, but you're essentially having, oh, the two best players from Texas, the f six best players from Tri-State, because that's the better region, the three best players from Florida, all over, and then you create a tournament. Boom. Could be cool. So, yeah. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Which perfect practice is very hard. Just make sure you're working hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, the next thing we're going to go into is going to be Let's Make Moves, Mi or Luminosity Makes Moves, Miami. So, technically speaking, you can't do this name, I don't think. No, you can't. You just can't have Smash in your name. Um, so, Super Smash Con is no longer allowed. Um, fun fact. And if any of your um, so Sunday School Smash, not allowed. You can't have Smash in the name. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to go into LCU Did Travel. Oh, my God. Did Noah get here? Hey, guys. He did. Well, we did y'all win? What's up, no? We lost game five, dude. It, it, uh, I saw. Yeah. No. It was tough. We, we, we didn't open very strong. And then so one of the players on that team just graduated from UTA and went over there to do his match. So he's a traitor. Yes, correct. So we hate him, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it was, a, it, was a, it was a high intensity match for us. Anyway, what are we talking about, guys? We just finished talking about Nintendo. If you'd like to say your th little quick thoughts about nintendo um there are two people i trust more than anyone about smash brothers and those people are mango and scar and about half an hour before this podcast was supposed to start about an hour before i got here i guess uh mango released a video said we will be fine so that's kind of the, the thing i'm at now either the license is easy to get and maybe this isn't so bad or maybe the license is hard to get and maybe we just got to F around and find out, dude. I think that we got to make them, make them play their cards. I think they're kind of bluffing a little bit. Uh, but I'm 100% down just for, to start calling bluffs and see how it goes. But uh, And if that ends up screwing over the livelihoods of some TOs, mm -hmm. I'd like to think that the, that the community is good enough to, like, get their backs and help them back on their feet and whatever it is. But um, I think everybody just wants to play the video game. And I can't imagine a world where we don't get to do that. Did you see that in Japan they were getting one-day turnarounds on low licensing? I did not. I do yeah. believe that. I, I think that's good. I, I don't imagine NA Nintendo will be that good about it. I don't either. Um, but we'll have to wait and find out. There's just so much uncertainty that we won't know about until... Until it happens. Until the 15th. Whatever the day it is. And we're talking that Melee is probably going to have the most trouble because you have to play vanilla Melee. Which is and that dog, yeah, that's gonna be <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah, it's I think it's, it's already confirmed that getting a license is very, very um, easy. Um, like you said, NA might be a little harder, but I don't see it being longer than like a week turnaround. I mean, it's a if Japan's doing it in a day and they're getting ten approved at a time, ten straight yeah. a series. I think we can get it'll. Be, I'm just worried about like melee coin box is what I'm mainly worried about. I think that's over. It's dead. I think yeah. I think the tournaments it. for melee are essentially dead. I think that was a big life, understand. a big lifeline of uh, melee. But obviously, I mean, they were around before that, and they'll be around after that. They are a uh, resilient bunch. But I do think that's a blow for sure, especially for like Cody. Cody Schwab with one, what, like thirteen straight 17. wins or something. He's he's yeah, made like he's... fifty grand, sixty grand on. He these... literally cannot make any more money. Yeah, and no one's gonna sponsor him because uh, no offense to Cody Schwab, great player, not very sponsorable. <laughs> so that was his livelihood. His livelihood got literally. Destroyed. Yeah, he yeah. now has to go to locals. That's Hopefully. the thing. It kind of just feels like um, it kind of feels like they just don't want people playing melee. Not even that. It, it, like even like ultimate, it just feels like they don't want people to be able to like make money from playing. <laughs> they really hate the idea that we could make a living off it. Well, the it's few like people who makes like. It, it, Nobody's making a living. Like I think Mango, I think I, you should go watch Mango's video later if you have the chance. Not just you guys, but the, but the chat. Um, I, I think he says it a lot better than anything. Like I'm gonna be able to say. It's like no one was ever playing this game to make money in the first place. Um, if you did happen to make money off of it, like great that that happened. Um, but that was never the point. People people have been going <laughs> into the red for this game for you know two decades now. Like, do I think that's going to stop because of this? No. Do I think things might change a little bit? Sure. Um, but we'll see what happens. But I'm optimistic. 
Yeah, I, 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 just, I just do not trust Nintendo even a little. Oh, bit. never. I, I don't think they understand the culture or the the storylines or the players or the tos or what you know any of this is or what it's about. And so, like, I I do not trust Nintendo a single bit. I do not. I'm not intending to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think any way that they can choose to screw the scene over, they will take. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, um, like Diani, we will get to your question at the end. We will get to your question at the end. All right, when we get to the um, questions. So now we're gonna go into let's Luminosity makes moves Miami. We're gonna quickly go into how the players from Lubbock who traveled um, are going to do. Um, we're not going to do as deep of a thing as we did last time. Okay. So, Swartzy is the first person we got here. Swartzy plays against Kobe if he wins his round one and then Apollo Kage. That is tough. Yeah, that was pretty tough. Didn't Kobe top two CEO? Was it this year? I don't know. CEO is not a real tournament. Before. I know. Don't you miss when it was? Well, it's always been. It's like it's a great tournament for fighting games. And so, he used to be one of our summer smash majors. Yeah, you got a CEO title, but you know, I mean, if I'm going to CEO, like I'm not planning a trip to CEO to play Smash. You know what I mean? Fair you enough. Know, I'm trying to get on that stage with that walk up song. Yeah, but yeah, I used to love CEO like in its heyday, like in that one, that anti one that was hype. Oh yeah, my camera's looking a little weird. Sorry, chat. If my camera's looking bad, can't do anything about it. But, yeah, no, when Anti won it, it was Anti Zen, Zen. No, it was Zen. It was Zenodo. What a wild time. Um, but, yeah, so we go into losers. It looks like um, Sports, we have to play Wan P. Isn't that the Samus? I have no idea who that is. Just hit yeah, on Kobe tough. real quick. I mean, that's that's Toon Link, Young Link, right? It's the Battle yep. of the Links. Which we will talk about later, trust me. Okay, moving on into our next pool. Oh, Beastly's in this pool. I didn't realize that. I didn't know you sent people. Uh, I didn't. I didn't send. Beastly went. Oh, hold on. I, I just got word. Chat's gonna mess up real quick. One p. One p. One p. One p. One p. Uh, one p is a Palutena who beat Epic Gabe, Best Bowser Jr., Zap, Beast Mode, Paul, Jake, Mysterica, and Goblin. So it's a Florida player. So it's a that. hard round two into a harder round three if he wins. Yeah. So a hard round two. Hard round three if he wins, because then he's playing um, Apollo Kage, and then in losers, if he loses to Kobe, is going to be tough to get out. Also, shout out to Alighieri for giving me a ton of information. Um, Those are good wins that you read off. Yeah. Yep. Zap's, so Zap's like player. top five on the ladder right now. <laughs> Zap's yeah, crazy. Yeah, they, they sound like, – I don't know Spritzy's best wins, but they in my head it's better than Spritzy's, right? Yeah. So we shall see. Then we got um, Warm Heroes. We will talk about Beastly's little run here. Choco Taco, I think, is a ZSS, if I remember correctly. And then or Game & Watch, this does not look like... I don't think he goes Diddy into Game & Watch, right? I don't know how much information you can give off, but... Yeah, he does. Um, he beat Meister with Diddy Kong. And that matchup's not abysmal. It's not? It's, it's definitely doable. And he beat Meister. He literally beat Meister with Diddy. So if anyone knew it, Beastly can do it. Well, there we go. So hopefully... I mean, uh, Beastly's Beastly... already beaten Meister. I didn't yeah, know that. That's what I said. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I, 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 was, I, was, I was getting Discord messages, and so I'm tuned out. Uh-huh. I, not paying you know, attention Beastly, to the KO show. Beastly Late hasn't and lost not to attention. a Game & Watch since he beat Meister the first time. Where did he beat Meister? LTC. Oh, Which well, one? I can't remember, but... Didn't he just play Meister again recently, though? No. Not to my knowledge. He played... Who did he play at Rewired? I know he lost yeah, to Pac-Man and Losers. Head to head. But... Allegory would be our stat person. <laughs> Go look it up. But then we look at Worm's bracket. Worm goes into Sean. If y'all don't know who Sean is, a very good Captain Falcon player. Destroys ESAM every time they play. It made Esam realize that Captain Falcon is not a winning matchup. Because it's not. And then he goes down into loser and plays a person named Marsh who he's expected to lose to. Don't know who it is. Uh, Worm Hero got seated quite low. Um, I mean, well, you look at, like, Worm's... Anytime Worm has traveled to, like, a major... 
doesn't uh, do well. I feel like he hasn't performed very well. Yeah, and, and so like so hopefully this is this is where he breaks the curse. I, I'm definitely rooting for the guy to do well, but um, if you're seeding based off of you know how yeah. it's looked at uh, uh, Rising Grind, for example, I guess. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You know, can't do much. So, and that's important for a lot of people. I know a lot of people complain about their seed. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not guilty of it, but when you go to these majors, unless you're consistently performing well, they essentially put you in a pot and they hit random. Yeah, most seeds after, you know, 32, Top 64, 96. Yeah, yeah, maybe even 96. doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's definitely luck of the draw at that point. So, that's that. Moving on. The next person we have on... Oh, I clicked... Oh! Sorry, I clicked um, a banned game according to Nintendo. Um... <laughs> The next one we have is Yi. So Yi is going to be playing Yi. If he beats Charlie, who knows who that is, plays Fawn, who's a Duck Hunt Bayonetta, who we're just dude, watching. Yeah, did you see that big D set, dude? It was pretty close. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did. You know, he won. Yeah. Well, I mean, won. it was close. So close. <laughs> but. And then you got to play Javi on Earth, which is a villager, right? I think in this game it's villager. And then Spargo, if Yi makes it that far. Um, no say to Scotty. I don't think he does. Uh, but I don't think he goes 0-2. Uh, big Nail fan, I'm assuming, plays Corn. Um, don't do this. We, we were talking a little earlier before you got here, Noah, that we might talk about um, people's tags someday, yeah. like West Texas tags. Uh, don't do this. That's, people got to understand that your tag is your brand. Your yeah. color is your brand. Yeah. Not like... Your color of your character, right? right. Your skin, you choose. Yeah. Uh, everything you do is your brand. So your entire brand... It's like... Remember TSM Cow? No. TSM Cow used to drive me bonkers. His entire brand was to wear a cow suit and follow Zero around. Well, I mean, that's why... I mean, everybody... Did, like, to get onto EG, which, by the way, hot, very hot water right now. Do not like EG at the moment. Um, or... Probably will never again. They, they're super messed up. Anyway, EG made Dr. PP at the time <laughs> change his tag to PPMD, which yep. isn't much better, but, you know, like, it, your tag's important uh, at the end yep. of the day. So. so make sure you guys, when you are changing your tag, Steph, if you're in here, it's not something dumb. Uh, like last place. That was one of the worst tags I've ever seen. Uh, next person is Trey. Who is doing pretty good lately? Uh, no, Trey's so, been doing good. If he, would, if, he if, if Trey would get off Twitter and stop like replying to people on Twitter about these like niche micro interactions and matchups, he'll never play. <laughs> I love it though. Like, I love seeing his reaction. Does this work on this character? Yeah, it's like, why would that matter? Like you, you will never in your life need to know that. Why would that matter? <laughs> it's like. Like every, I, I see his tweets, and every time I want to reply to this, it's like, why do you need to know this? It's like... It, right? it cracks me up. I, 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 I it's always it. the most niche stuff. I respect it because, like, I know I can go to Trey and ask him, like, any question about the game. And, and he'll either know the he'll know the answer, or I'll see him asking somebody else on Twitter later. So, yeah. So, if you need information, if you need stats, go to Vibe or Alligator. If you need random frame data and, like, hey, what percent does Pitt's up air drag down off of the platform combo into a Ford Smash, um, he'll know. So, Squid Plumber is a Richter, <coughs> according to Allegheny. That sucks. I don't know who Tavares is, never seen him. But we do know who Quid is, and hopefully Quid does well. I mean, Quid's PT, right? Yep. Seems like a winnable matchup. Uh, I know that Trey's been starting to do a lot better against Vibe, and so... At the very least, it's a matchup that he has a lot of practice in, yep, which yep. isn't what you can say for a lot of these pools. And then in losers, plays a guy named Fuzzix. And yeah, see, at least tag, I can't, if I can't say, gosh. Okay. Yeah, I won't go too deep into it. Hopefully, Trey can get, make it out. You Finally, King knows everything, person. and he was the best. Yeah, but Mewtwo King needed to know a lot less uh, in terms of character matchup specific information. Uh, then Trey would need to know. <laughs> and then we look at game typology. Uh, goes into J Mafia, who's a Yoshi. Do not yeah, I love J Mafia, dude. He's a great guy. I have not met him. 
He's a, he's he, him. He's a he's really good friends with Army and Curry, and so uh, uh, he and Army teamed at DreamHack, and they beat Curry and Beasley in Grands, um, and but the, like talking trash the whole time. But anytime they're he's not competing against one of those two, it's always right behind him cheering him on the whole time. So I we were talking him. about that, making yeah. sure you cheer on your homies. It it's, makes a difference. Yeah, it does. It does, dude. I I because Curry and Beasley were playing against Lima and Mudes. And Curry was in a 2v1, and Lima misses some, like, easy thing. Like, something that you would never see Lima miss today. And you just hear Jay Mafia rip into him. Lima doesn't have the headphones. Lima looks over at him, dude, starts shaking his head. And Curry comes back and wins the 2v1. Like, in the most insane, like... We... I was... I talk a lot when I'm having a lot of fun yeah. at any tournament I'm going to. So, like, if me and G are teaming, like, I sometimes talk to the opponent as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were talking to Lima Mude during it, like... How do you know we're killing us? Blah blah blah. Like having fun and like yeah. we ended up getting the game off it just because Grayson jumped waft and scared yeah. the crap out of Lima. We're laughing and people were cheering for us. It gives me power. I'm not even joking. Um, it doesn't give Steph. He asks people to stop cheering. I always make fun of Steph. Steph's, you know, we still shout out Steph every week. Every time I look at the logo, shout out Steph. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of funny. So moving on into. Uh, the top 64, super quick. The top eight seeds are going to be Spargo and then Tweak, Light, Sonics, and then it is Mute Ace, Zomba, DeBuzz, MK Leo. I messed that up. but That sounds awesome. like a banger top eight if it plays right. Crazy top eight. Sounds incredible. And I like, wonder even why matches, it sounds so good. But Leo has to play Mario to get to Spargo for a top eight qualifier. Bring out the Marth. He's just got to do it. I think I think he got commit to Marth. I think he can make it work in this meta. We'll see. Uh, and then I think Quaid could do well. Quaid has to play Karama. These are all like top ten players in the U.S. right now, or North America. It's, like it's gonna be awesome. Big D Cola, Cola having to play an Ice Climbers on his only tournament back is hilarious. Uh, Tarek's there too. Tarek really really yep. good. Uh, he spent yep. a little bit of time at UTA. Him and Beasley are really good friends, so I got to hang Tark's out. Tark's been him. doing great lately. Yeah, and so uh, he, see, he's Tilde's been... at this tournament too. Yeah. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be it's... like last week's big house that was for we... melee, but for ultimate. Yep. We we talked about, but we need a we need a recovery after ultimate big house. So this will be a re good refresher. Yeah. So real quick question that. Uh, I think we should address really quickly is that can you complain during a match if your opponent is talking too much? I think it depends. There, yes, it's it's up to the TO's discretion. If you are actively trying to mess them up, yes. If you're just talking to them in between games and saying a little more, that's fine. If I say, "Hey, stop doing that mid game," like I can, but uh, I think you know it, the Mike Hayes rule comes down to TO discretion as to what qualifies yeah. and what does not qualify. And majority of tournaments don't even include the Mike Hayes rule in their rule sets because for some reason, nowadays, like every start.gg tournament does not include an actual list of yeah. rules that people don't realize you need to have. So if I wanted to go into a Lubbock tournament and scream the entire time someone's hit me with a Steve combo, <laughs> guess what? They can't do anything about it. Well, they could. But it's not in the rules, <laughs> you know. Uh, then I can argue, and they gotta give me my money back, which they won't. But yeah, so I want MK Leo to win because I want MK Leo back. But overall, I mean, if we get Spargo Light and Tweak Spargo, bangers. Yeah. Like, so we're, if, we're if this, if okay, in a world where Sonics doesn't make Winter's Side top eight, <laughs> this is gonna be like the best top eight in a while. <laughs> Tweak you know? Sonics would be a tough one. I think it's and then we could get MK Leo. That uh, Sonics got seeded over Zomba. When Zomba has been tearing it up offline, and Sonics has been great online, but when did Sonics get picked up by Luminosity? Like a week ago. Yeah. Oh. But you know, that's weird, right? Zomba's his last like three in a tournaments, he's like top three. And yeah, Sonics I mean, it, been. Uh, yeah, it's a little weird. I think Zomba so, wins that. But hopefully, I mean, this cup should be for great. Samba. Like, if they do end up playing, like I know Rob Sonic's pretty good for Rob. At least that's mm -hmm. what I'm told. I watched Atomic Wrath play 
And whenever we did the crew battle against MK Leo's team, we sent in Atomic against Wrath and Atomic. Tweaks also. Tweaks seated really, really high for not being in the last four tournaments. Yeah, yep, that, I, I think, agree. I think that one's weirder to me. Uh, I don't like that seed whatsoever. No, I, I, yeah, I disagree with it. I'll take no slander because I love my boy Tweak. I go Diddy, but yeah. it is a little, a little suspect. So yeah, that's our talk on Luminosity makes moves Miami. Hopefully, our boys do well. So the final thing I want to talk about before we get to questions was me and G today were talking about characters and how they need to change a ton of characters in this game. Uh, for example, Ganondorf. Okay, there's zero reason for that character to be a clone at this point when games like Hyrule Warriors exists and he has incredible move sets in that game. Okay. So, oh, little sister in here saying buff Ike. No, that character is good in dubs. <laughs> but, so, I was kind of hoping, I mean, me and G talked a few today, and Noah, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What characters would you want to see reworked? I'm not talking balance changes. I'm not talking like, like oh, I want pit to move set I'm reworked. talking change the move. The character needs to be blown up and changed. Got to Google the Smash Ultimate roster so I can look at all my options here. So, like, we could talk about, for example, I'll go first with Ganon, right? There's a few characters I can go. All the Zelda characters really need change. But Ganondorf, okay? In Hyrule Warriors, okay, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Hyrule Warriors. He has a trident. And it's super sick. He has two swords. They kind of use the swords. I don't want. Oh, he's, he's very cool in Hyrule Warriors. Is if you haven't played that game, guys. I honestly, like recently. Hyrule Warrior Sheik would be awesome, dude. That character yes. is so cool. In Hyrule Warrior. With the different songs, it changes everything. Uh, it's that character is sick in Hyrule. Honestly, all the Hyrule Warriors characters are very cool. But, I mean, Let's you have it. to like you you have to make really cool characters for Hyrule Warriors because those games are like pretty one note uh, for the most part, and so yeah, it's a ton of fun. To just have this up while we talk about it, but there's so much different things you can do. He has a trident. He throws a trident. Uh, he has magic in literally every single game known to mankind. So why doesn't he have that? I mean, he just, he should not. Look at that. Boom. Throw that thing. If that thing hit me, though, I'd probably die. Um, but yeah, so I think Ganon, Toon Link is another character I was going to say because there's so many different weapons that he has. There's zero reason for us to be using every single one. Or every single character using the exact same one arrow. Seems like there's the hook shot, um, not the hook shot, the the spinning one. I forgot grappling hook. That's the one. He has the sand wand. He has the Deku leaf. He has a slingshot. Like there's zero reason for them to be the exact same. So yeah, who wants to go first? They did a little bit with Link's bomb, but they should all three be very, very different than they are. <laughs> yep. They tried a little bit with Link's bomb, but. I don't know. Well, the one we talked about earlier today was Mario, obviously. That character's been pretty close to the same for many iterations of the game. Whenever Mario, modern Mario, is really, really different. So I'd like them to incorporate, not just from the newest Mario, but take some from, well, obviously it's from Odyssey, but take some from Galaxy, too. Like, I'm a big Mario Galaxy fan. It's one of my favorite ones. So just, he needs to change. He needs, to, besides putting some eyeballs on Cappy every now and then, like, sometimes just for the animation look. He needs a whole new moveset, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, my One that I had in mind also was Kirby. Kirby mm. has done so many cool things in his game, and in Smash he does nothing. Nothing cool. <laughs> not even one thing. And he's been pretty much the same for a long time. And like as far as like canon power goes, I'm pretty sure Kirby's power level is like up there with the highest of the high. And this is the game. He's just so boring. He just like boxes close. It's like all he does. And then Rock is iconic, but but also really, really old. So I think Kirby needs a whole new ram. I don't think he's ever been good besides 64. So like, he's been bad. He's been like low tier for like 20 years. Um, so I think Kirby has the potential. I mean, he has a lot of really cool stuff from all his games. Yeah. Um, so that's what I had in mind. Yeah, I can think of some more. I haven't really... I didn't look no, at the go ahead yet. and then if you think of another one. Uh, you got any other one? So I've got... <laughs> I think I'm a little, little, little biased, right? Because I played this little game on Project M, okay? And let me tell you about one of the coolest characters in Project M. Pit. No, 
Zero suit Samus, dude. No! Whoa! Zero whoa! 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 Samus whoa! 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 whoa. No! Is so no! Sick. No! And no! In this no! Game, he's lying. She's so lame, dude. I think. I think. I don't know. I. I think there's a lot of characters in this game that I would like remove before I would rework. I hate that there's so many characters that just eat up the same archetype. It's not even like we have like we have. I feel like we have eight Samuses and like six Marths and like I don't know. I, I so many of the characters in this game feel samey to me. It's like, do we really need Villager, Isabel, Duck Hunt, Samus, Dark Samus? You, you know, like all these terrible Zoder characters that don't like be, be Gunner. Like all these all these terrible characters that I don't want to play against. Like, why do I need all these ding characters that do the exact same thing? So I think finding ways to make play styles of these characters more expressive and less samey to one another is like really important especially in a defensive game like ultimate where like playing defensively is just it's really boring to watch so i don't know that's kind of where i'm at i i I would say the same thing about the rushdown characters too like this brawler needs to feel so similar to Fox needs to feel so similar to X to Y to Z. You know, it's like, I, I would like to see less characters and more diverse move sets. I think. I, uh, as chat says, uh, give me says all echo fighters need unique move set. I was under the impression that you just need to get rid of every single one. Unless like Ken, I don't count Ken as an echo. That's a different character. I don't count Krom as an echo. He's a completely different character. Um, but if you're the exact same, uh, you shouldn't be in the game, really. In my opinion, just make them a skin. Yeah, and I so wish that something like Smash would be more willing to do. It's like I would rather have like way more skins of fighters that fit the exact same play style than having to learn forty new matchups because people want to play Villager and Isabel. You know, like yeah. we already know my opinion on Isabel players, right? I agree. I literally told Chuck today that, that they need to turn the fat. We don't need 90 characters in the game. Especially, like, yeah, like you said, they all play very similarly, or a lot of them do, so. Trim the fat, make them skins. I've been on the skin. I will pay so much money for some oh, me too. skins. How many, I'll pay for Duck Hunt skins. How many characters different... do y'all want in the next game? Uh, Not 50. this many. I think Smash 4 is pretty good amount. Ba- base roster. You, you open the game from GameStop at midnight 01. How many characters do you want to be able to unlock that night? Well, I play competitive, so I want them all unlocked. Yeah, but how many characters is that? 50. I'll say close to 50. How many characters are in Smash 4? No idea. 58. That 60 would be my max. I'm, I I'm, like, I'm like 30, 36. You have to have enough characters to... 32. Like, because that's a good competitive game, but Smash is still a party game. So I'd want a lot, but like 60, I think, would be the max. Not 80. Because 60 matchups, like, you can learn that. Just do, I'm talking... do 32 and have all these cool characters, dude. That's like 90 characters, 100 characters, dude. Like, Lucas should be out of the game. Change the particles, dude. I don't care. I don't like, want to learn all these. We got I, got topics. I got some characters to change. Okay. Topic I, yeah, of, go ahead. Of the day. <laughs> characters. Sonic has got to. He changed. Sonic's Sonic is probably, a yeah. He's yeah. probably Sonic the is biggest crime. Sonic is, is Sonic worse than Ganondorf in, in this regard? I think Ganon's worse in my opinion. Because at least like I, in I Sonic... Think so- if I, I think Sonic's worse. If I pick up Sonic the Hedgehog, I am going to see every single move he has. If I play a Zelda game, I'm not seeing a wizard kick. Sonic, Sonic can do more than spin, bro. I know it's his thing, but... It but Ganon doesn't even do his broken. stuff. Sonic's got to change. I want a I whole think P new... plus Sonic is... It's just so uncreative. It's so uninspired. It's, hey, I'm spinning on this corner. Go, hey, I'm spinning on this corner. Make it more creative. Make them work a little harder. Their brains are fried from spinning for 15 years. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. Next one I have is Lucario. He I love too. Lucario. He's one of my favorite Pokemon of all PM time. PM Lucario. Yeah, PM, PM Lucario is pretty sick. Um, he's, he's been pretty lame in Smash 4. He was only relevant because, um, that game had really bad mechanics and Anubis was broken. Yeah. Um, in this game, he's just, he's just really, really low tier. He's almost unviable. But 
Um, it's kind of weird about Lucario because he, to me, he feels like worse Mewtwo, and Mewtwo's already really bad. Yeah, so it's like sucks, bro. It hurts. You gotta make Lucario just... way faster, way way yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. Speed intro. But uh, just change everything. Change everything. War Spear's fine, but everything else has got to change. That character is not fun to play, and I love Lucario. And what was um, the uh, the PM Lucario player? I punch kids, dude. I punch kids. Yeah. Yeah. PM Lucario sick. Last one that I have in mind. Yeah, these are characters that I love. Besides Sonic, I hate fighting against Sonic the most, so I want to change him. But Banjo and Kazooie, Chuck can tell you how hype I was for Banjo and <laughs> Kazooie to come out. Uh, he was one of my most requested characters. I got him, and man, I wish I never did because they ruined that character, and they ruined that character for me too. I was like, yeah. I now think he's lame. When I thought he, he was one of my favorite games of all time growing up, yeah. I was like, I love Banjo Kazooie. That was like my Nintendo 64 game as a kid. Yeah. I like no life that game, and now I hate the character because he's so obnoxious. And we just played against one yesterday. It's just it like. Dude, Kid Lucario is so cool. I've watched the video bro. you have up, dude. It's so sick. So cool. This is how Lucario should be. Yeah. He just be canceling moves. You got, here, look at Mama, get out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, I gave like six characters, though. Y'all go. Uh, I think I said Toon Link. Uh, all the links count um, in regards to that. But I think, like, I mean, Mewtwo is really cool. I think that, that character is pretty cool. Oh, my God. You seen this? Look at it. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Um, but I think a lot of the Pokemon you can really update their moves. I think that you know there's so many new moves that come out every single week or every single game that you could potentially update those. Like Pikachu, like you can update them more towards the anime per se. Like Volt Tackle should actually be a move because that's his most popular move. Things like that. But I mean, yeah. outside of that, I mean Donkey Kong, I think you could change too. Give me, the same one? give me, give me, Pokin Lucha, Pikachu instead of whatever Pikachu we have now. A grappler? Yeah, <laughs> I think that'd be sick. Pikachu grabbing you, that dude. Pikachu's command grabbing that game was nuts. That that whole yeah. game was goofy. Dude. <laughs> it really was. Um, let's see some other characters. Let me go back. The character roster. I did I say I, any? Can, I, can I just feel like we have so many characters. I, I don't think necessarily characters need to be worked. I just think they need to be cut entirely. But if like if I could rework any character, it'd be Sonic first. Yeah. Um. I think mine would be Toon Link. Would be my first. I mean, Ganon and Toon Link would be right there. Like massively. Because I think it's a dang shame what happened to Ganon. And I think Toon Link could do so much cool stuff with, let alone just his games, right? How do you feel about character reworks kind of like Falco's? Where it's like very light, but it like completely changes the character. Yes, that's fine. Like Because that, completely... that's kind of what I would prefer for a lot of characters, I think. Where like, like a, a PM style rework is pretty extreme. Yeah. But, but a Falco rework isn't that extreme still keeps the essence of the character in a lot of ways even though i kind of wish his shine still popped up but you know neither here nor there um <laughs> but yeah i think i think you could do that style of rework for a lot of characters and the game just becomes so much more interesting from a character design perspective maybe not from a competitive perspective because then you're learning even more niche character bs you know before yeah. you go to your first tournament or whatever but you know that we agree sonic is sinful i'd say we do i already went on my sonic rant even you just missed it but we agree sonic can is I, number one can i say something that would make atsy like hate me perhaps and yeah. i i legitimately believe this by the way okay. this is this isn't a bit to piss off atsy like i actually believe that marth should be removed and they should give tipper to lucina i think lucina is Ooh. so much more important to the fire emblem franchise than marth is at this point that uh, I think that's where I'm at. That's wild take. That's that's a. Did they just bring back Martha the new game? Martha's iconic from Smash though, from from Melee. No, I agree with that. I I I think he's more iconic as a Smash character than a Fire Emblem character. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I think this Lucina. <laughs> I think Lucina. I just I just like Lucina more than Marth. I think the things Awakening did for the franchise are unparalleled compared to whatever Shadow Dragon did for the franchise. 
you know, if you don't have Lucina, you don't even have any more Fire Emblem games. So that's that's just where I'm at. That's a that's a take. Where I'm at. I'm on the. Um, I mean, just continue. Make the topic. A I'm on the re- rework heavies train. I think all the oh, heavies. Yeah. I'm, I'm I think KK rules good design though. Heavies are just huh? always just super low tier, by yeah. the nature of being heavy. I think heavy. Did you did you play multiverses at all? Surely, right? We did. Yeah. yeah. I think they did a pretty good job with heavies. Like Iron Giant loved. was absurd. One we of the most ridiculous characters. I did y'all ever play against Thomas and Isaiah Vibe and Yeet? No, because they were like top twenty-five, like as a team, like, like oh, wow. for real. Like they were really good. And so Vibe and who? Uh, Vibe and Yeet, two Abilene players. Uh, eventually, when that game definitely comes out again, maybe I can try it. Uh, to play them or something, but like I think the way that they designed heavies was so smart. Where you're, you're, you're just, you will combo this character forever, but this oh, character yeah. will kill you in one or two interactions. So like you have to play pretty perfectly. It's like the Great Sword in I think it's called the Great Sword in Monster Hunter. Like I watched Yanni. Oh play, yeah, 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 yeah. And all he does is he takes his big old time, just yep. boom, and it's like 500 damage. Yep. And then other than that, like he's waiting, you know. <laughs> so. I would agree. I think they did design Iron Giant pretty good. We loved fighting Iron Giants because we played Wonder Woman Taz and we just comboed oh, him. I, I played Velma. I would just down air up beat, down air up beat, down air up You played down Velma? Air, yeah, I was oh top. My God. I was a, You're a Velma player, bro. I, I, was, I was a top 15 Velma. I'm about to kick you off the pod. I, I So I played Arya a lot, but she was so bad that I just dropped her for Velma. You know what? You Thinking back on multiverses right now, I'm kind of having like a. Flashback. Dude, I had the our, same feeling the other day, man. That our multiverse fun, team is bro. so similar to our Smash team, where we would hit combos that no one else on God's Green Earth could hit, and we would lose to some just like button mashing Belmas. <laughs> oh, and bugs! That we, hitbox was nuts. Bugs we could consistently, wild. we could consistently zero to death Iron Giants, though. We oh, multiple yeah. times zero yeah, to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have clips on my computer. I'm gonna show you later. Um, oh, and Doc needs a rework. I don't know what they got to do to him. He needs some help. His but buttons yeah. are so good, though. Doc is not low tier, and anybody who thinks Doc is low tier is not smart. You know, as somebody who interacts pretty frequently with a very good Doc player, I think Doc's Doc's weird, right? Because he's so he's kind of like Mac, where like his buttons are crazy. He can kill you in very few interactions, but like the gentlest breeze off stage, and he's just done. I though. think Doc's recovery is better than Pyro Mithras. We want to take some questions, Chuck. And <laughs> Grayson said, "No, nah, I hate that." Uh, yes, uh, questions. Well, I, I, I don't think Doc's low tier. I mean, I, Doc's good. Believers. We had a question from Diani earlier, and trying to remember. Find Favorite it. character based on move set design alone, not necessarily best move set. Fox. We talked about this a lot last week, but you know what's proof that Doc is not low tier is whenever we have a low tier tournament, and six of the top eight low tier winners are Doc players. Well, the year before it was Donkey Kong. They let Donkey Kong in the low tier. And that's and, dumb too. And all on top of it, it was Donkey Kong. Diani, I can't find your question. I should have wrote it down. Why Alligiri's just sending me pictures of Marth? Favorite character based on moveset. Um, Diddy and Fox. Yep, that's what Noah said. Fox. I'm also Fox is really fun, but I'm a Sheik lover. Sheik's, so Sheik. Sheik's up there. You need to stop being a hypocrite. Because I've destroyed you and Fox for three hours. No, 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 no. Hold, listen. Listen. When I play listen. you, you listen. Lie and play about Fox for hours. Fox to and fight then, then, is annoying. Two hours later, you say Fox, Fox is sick. Pick one. Is, Fox is annoying to fight. I will watch Fox. Anytime we're playing Bobbles, I don't know if you're in here. Um, but when you're beating up Bobbles with Fox, I'm enjoying my time. The <laughs> second you dash tech up tilt me, I'm mad. Okay, next question. <laughs> um, let's see. Chuck, if you had to take another game competitively, which would it be? Ah. Uh, any game a lot. If, Heroes of the Storm. Bro. In its heyday. In its, in its prime, Heroes was pretty dope. I agree with that. Uh, I think it's a little too gimmicky right now. Right now being at, for the last however many years it's been, but. 
Um, I think the interesting thing about heroes is like, I don't know. I, I was going to say something about how there's a lot littler room for skill expression than in other MOBAs, but then we saw what that Maev did to us or whatever that character was. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. But. It was a freaking, uh, what was that character? Um, my, no. Uh, Medivh. Did you watch my video I made? I, I stayed did. up late for that. I did. Did, it was, you, did it was you think good. it was funny? I did. I did think it was funny. Uh, thank but you. I was I there, went. so, you know, it was very funny to me. It was, I added um, some Ultra Instinct sounds. We got absolutely destroyed on it. Uh, to answer uh, that question, I'm actually interested in your question or your answer to that question too. Like, if you had to play a different game competitively, I think mine would be Pokemon. I love VGC. And I then, used to. And if I had the time and ability to take it seriously, I think these Pokemon events seem like a lot of fun. I bet I bet they are actually. I wanted to compete in Pokemon, but yeah. uh, once I saw the same Pokemon 15 times in a row online, I was like, in Sword and Shield, I was like, this sucks. I went to um, Scarlet and Violet, and Iron Hands is, and Fluttermane's on every single team, and I was like, this sucks. So, yeah. You're just not creative Grace. enough to be there, right? No, I'm not good enough. My answer? Um, yeah. I really, really love being part of a team, hence why I love doubles, and I just love yep. being the team atmosphere, team energy. So right now, I'd maybe pick, if I was pro, I, I would uh, maybe Unite. I mean, League, but League's so hard. <laughs> um, Unite, I, I do love being a, a team. Or BGC is a good answer. I'm really, really good at BGC. I mean, I, I got Master Ball tier in like five hours. Um, and then I quit playing, but... I am pretty cracked at BDC. So that's a great answer. I, but I want to be a team, so I'm going to say probably League. League or Unite. League would be dope if I was good. All right, here's the video Bro. chat. Bro, I hate Chuck. Bitch. Every time. Bitch. Man, I, I would love to do this if I was good at it. Bro. But he never... Anyway, I'm going to... Yeah. It, we've been trying to this. get Chuck to play League for like 10 years. I mean, you can't even get him to play Smash. Oh. Like, man, I wish I was good at Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh, my. They're here. Oh, shit. So that was our moment. But, yes, if I, I tried League really hard, guys. I did. Um, Grayson can confirm. That is by far my worst game ever. It's not close. Not close. Bad. And I am competing in Smash. I'm not competing in singles on Saturday for reasons that I will say off stream. Um, but I am doing doubles. And I am planning on going What's on to... on Saturday? Are you going to Ibley? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be in town nice. already for my um, Myers Little Sister's uh, senior night. Gotcha. So then I will be attending. And then on the next weekend, I think... I'm like 99% sure, not 99, I'll say 95% sure, I will be going to Dallas to compete in that Freaks Monthly. Nice. Um, so if you're in town, you should go as well. What is it? Uh, December? The 4th. November 4th or December 4th? November 4th. Well, I'll think about it. We can all my, go! My, my controller's broken right now. So. A live KO show! Your control's banned anyway! Get another one! That's, that's a good point. I didn't, I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> and you're in college, so you have to follow the rules. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah that's the so thing. I don't know how it affects the college leagues we're playing in. So we'll see I, it says it only your college can enter. Something. There's like a specific se section on colleges. I've got a booth set up at the Pokemon market. Where the heck? Is, we'll talk about that in a second. Um. Gimmicks asks, do you think orgs will lose interest in signing Smash players with this news? I think they were already disinterested, and this makes it even worse. Cody Schwab is the best player in the world currently, and he's not very marketable, but anybody can pick him up, and nobody will. I'm sure he's waiting for a Tier 1 offer, um, but it's just not going to happen. I think it depends. Because I think that I, I think this chance is small, but I'm trying to be optimistic uh, for once in my life. Um... <laughs> I think there's like the smallest percent chance that orgs may see Nintendo getting involved and maybe they think, okay, 
Nintendo's laid down their ground rules. Now that we understand the game we're playing, I can get more involved in whatever capacity that is. Now, okay. the rules don't necessarily look like they allow for that on a large scale. Yeah, I believe you cannot even show your sponsor. But that's for, like, community community yeah. events. That's not for these majors who are going to obtain license for competitive events. So I do think there's wiggle room there to look at a silver lining and, and these orgs say, okay, we, have the, we finally have the rules Nintendo wants to play by. I think we can do this. Now it is safe for me to move in. Do I think that will happen? No. But I can hope. I can hope. G, what do you think? Um, I think they'll come the next game. <laughs> I think I think uh, <laughs> no one's gonna get in right now. But I do agree with what I just said. I do think having a set parameter and a set rules and knowing that you're not gonna just get canceled one at the biggest tournament one day because Nintendo said you can't run it, and now you lost all your marketing that you put towards that event and all that. Um, so I do think that's a great point. But I don't think. Um, I mean, you like just. I don't think the meta right now is very viewership um, friendly. I think it's oh. the end of the game. No, yeah. no fault to ultimate at all. It's just the end of its lifespan, and it's not as involved. I mean, it, beginning of any game is way more exciting, way more hype, way more players, way more eyes, all that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not a doomer. I, I believe. I don't think Smash is dead by any means. I think next game, with those set parameters, I think it's gonna be. A, it's going to be big, and I think sponsors will get back into it. Can I ask you a controversial question, Grayson? Sure. How long do you think the game lasts, whereas, like, how long do you think viewership will continue to decline until no one enters events anymore? With Steve banned versus not banned. Like, how much do you think banning or not banning that character adds or takes away from the lifespan of this game? I don't think we ever are going to be able to ban Steve, especially now that we're licensed by Nintendo, because they will not allow us to ban a character they put in the game. So all of these huge tournaments who are getting licenses have to have Steve legal. They have to. I didn't even they, think of that. You can't ban their character from their game does that they're licensed. It, does it say that? I, it says community events I, you can't use third-party characters. Well, Steve's a third-party character. Except but for license. Crazy uh, saying they're not gonna. Uh, see, they're not gonna let you ban their character that they put in the game. I highly doubt it. But I, I, I don't. I haven't read anything that said that. And I'm not speaking from a strictly fact basis. I'm not sure. I just highly, highly doubt it. Because I think, of that, I think you're I making think, a fair assertion, though. Yeah, I do believe that it will hurt viewership. How long till it, it dies? Yeah. <sighs> I think we're getting close. <laughs> That would be, we hit an all-time low for sure at this slot. That big I've house. never seen a big house with 7,000 viewers. I think Coney's pre-local right now has more views. I think, yeah. Maybe maybe one more PGR of um, Akola winning dominantly, number one, before people start saying there's nothing we can do about this character, no matter how good we get. Yeah. But yeah. I, a year. I'm one more year. And then I think it's probably done. And how do you think it would be how many, how much longer or not longer if he was banned? In a magical world where we could unanimously ban the grid. Oh. I still think it's a year. You still, you, you think it doesn't matter? I, I think right now, like, I'm thinking towards the end of Smash 4. Yeah. Like, even before Ultimate got announced, it was falling. And well, before, was... before Ultimate got announced, no one wanted to play anymore because everything was Bayo to those. Because that was right after Evo, right? Yeah. Where people, like, like morale for the game was at an absolute all-time low. Oh my god, was Big House our freaking Evo? I mean, pretty close. Big House is usually yeah. for Melee, at least. Yeah. I saw, I saw a picture, and it was like, if you close your eyes, it was the two <laughs> if Steve's. If you close and... your eyes. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I disagree. I think people are way more enthused. We just read the top eight, and I so guess what? There was no Steve's, and we were all... The hype, most hyped. hype I've seen is for Ultimate, ever. Like, oh my god, this top eight, it's flames, it's fire, all oh, these sets. And then you put one Steve in there, and you're like, eh, actually, I might just not watch. I think it I think it massively um, deters the audience, it deters people wanting to get in the game. It, and I remember when I was getting into Brawl, it was kind of a side tangent, but it was 
like, hey, if you don't play Meta Knight, you're trolling. And I was like, well, I don't even want to play, really play the game then because Meta Knight's cool and all, but I don't want to be the 87th best Meta Knight in the world. I want to be my own person. And I think it, I think it deters, like, if you're not picking this character, you're trolling is this late yeah. in the game. Yeah, I, I think that, I think Ultimate's in a great state without Steve, honestly. I think there's a lot will... of viable characters without Steve. Honestly, I will say, I have recently... Like, one of my biggest complaints of Ultimate, right, and I've said it to you guys multiple times, is the fact that we have no tech in this game, right? And as of recently, I've been seeing a lot of tech start coming out. Niche tech that can actually work, like the slide-off tech. I think that's actually pretty big. No one's really lapped it, but I think that one's actually pretty big. Um, a lot of people are labbing their characters and learning specific... I'm like, where? Why have we not started labbing before, you know last week um so i'm kind of excited to see my excitement for ultimate has been actually quite high lately because i'm seeing things and maybe my twitter uh feed and my algorithm has finally been showing me cool smash Bros stuff but i think a lot of the i think the slide off tech was huge i think my smash corner would have made a video about it and people have been practicing it and it would been used you know, so I, I'm hoping, and I saw no impact, land, people were labbing no impact lands on, for every character. So, I don't know. I'm hoping to see some more of that. Um, chat also, shield with it stuff looks like it could be practical. Eh, yeah. I think no one's with it is big enough. Yeah, Alan Geary saying, a lot of cloud stuff has been coming out. She just mentioned cloud up tilt to limit cross that's just true at 60 and can kill. And then all that ledge hang stuff just came out on cloud. That fair hits ledge hang. And you can combo it into finishing touch. True. Yeah, it's like crazy to me, like, because all this stuff seems like it should be like a week one find, but here we are. So I'm excited to see that. I know Void's been playing a lot of Sheik and seeing a lot of really good Sheik stuff. Play second at a tournament with MK Big Boss at it yesterday. So that's pretty cool. It kind of uh, reminds me of you remember. I don't know if you remember, but like in like 2014, 15 melee, where offense was getting a lot better. Yes. And Actually, when people start figuring like consistently shortening mm -hmm. and getting actual mm -hmm. good wave dash or and, not wave dashes, uh, um, wave ledge lands. dashes, yeah, yeah, less dashes. That's and like and like word. offense was getting so much stronger. I mean, now we're in uh, a thing where defense has become much stronger again now that people because people have to adapt to the really powerful offensive meta game with a really powerful defensive meta game. Yeah, and that's why and I think get Cody. Yeah, the game's just like the meta of the game is in a really really good spot right now. Yeah. Uh, and I think we're kind of seeing that similar like ebb and flow with Ultimate, um, where you just have this one glaring issue where you have one character who can do it all kind of too easily. That's what I was um, about to say. <laughs> but every matchup outside of that one, it feels like is getting developed, which yeah. I think is a great spot for a game to be in. Um, yeah, I would agree. As actually. long as the people making those. Uh, breakthroughs don't get demoralized by the fact that they're getting outpaced on all fronts by Steve, you know? Yeah, it's like I've no matter really how good excited. your offense gets or no matter how good your defense gets, you're still not good enough for Steve. Yeah, I've been really excited about seeing all that. All right, chat, one or two more questions. We Our plan originally was to be an hour podcast, but the past two has been 130, but I feel like both these past two episodes have been really freaking good. So, chat, give us one or two more questions. Give us your spiciest question, chat. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be Smash related. One guys. that you would not clip and send to your mom. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know about that. Something real controversial that makes Chuck real uncomfortable. What characters do you believe are falling off with the new meta? I mean, that's that's an obvious one. It's like Joker and like Joker, Pyra, yeah, Mithra, Pikachu, Pikachu. Like the characters that are like really neutral heavy that people thought were going to be really good because they're neutral so good until they realize you don't actually have to play neutral that much in this game. And then it's like, oh. Did well, we say Palyu? Palyu's struggling right now. Chase and uh, Louis Money have had some bad L's the past month. Yeah. Mm, yep. Good answer, too. Yep. So, so like the, that? Yeah, those really neutral heavy characters I just aren't aren't the move. I agree. Then Character, characters are like a Wario who can explode you off of one hit. Those are more meta right now. Which characters have improved? Steve, Game & Watch, Cloud... Uh, Fox, Cloud, Fox, Fox. Yeah. Uh, Min Min lately. I saw Min Min beat a Cola again yesterday. Yeah. So those characters, the ones that don't let you play the game, yeah, those ones. <laughs> uh, and then we can end on this, and we won't go. I don't. 
Yeah, we won't go super duper deep into it, but this is probably going to be another 10 minutes. So, your favorite set ever. Ever? Um, I know mine off the top of my head. I do too. Mine's already right there. I know yours has to involve Mango. It does. Um, I, I'm I'm betting yours is like a Mango Leffen. On. Mango Leffen. It's either Genesis. Yeah. Or, or I'm thinking, remember that one big house combo on Pokemon Stadium? I no, did. that was on Plup, wasn't that it? That was on Plup, yeah. Okay, so it got to be Genesis. It's Mango Leffen, Genesis, Loser's Quarter, or Loser's Semis, Genesis 4. The, I don't know that's it. The, so, I, the, I I heard this on Foresight Fights. Basically, in, like, chess, there's, like, these things called, like, master plays where, like, only that person in that moment could have made that one play to do what it is, or to, to win that set. It's game four. Uh, and I think Mango has like the closest thing you will ever see to a master play in 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 this game. Um, it's it's on the it's on the Pokemon Stadium game. Which I think, stadium? Yeah, it's before this one. So Mango's actually down. Yeah, go back, go back. Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, no, 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 back a little more. Okay, yeah, we'll watch it from here. So Mango's okay. down two one. He's in losers. This is Genesis, right? Like an event that's so important for Melee, dude. And if you guys didn't know, at this point in time, Mango and Armada had made every grand finals of Genesis. Yes. Yeah, so like people are like, he's not gonna do it. Like he's not gonna get it back. And like left this is when Leffen's like it, like Leffen's still obviously incredible at the game. But he's down a stock. He's against an incredibly hot Leffen. And people are like, I don't know if he can do this. I, I remember I, I was standing up on my bed with my laptop in my hands because I'm like so. I, I was so stressed nervous. at this point. And like like here he's just getting he's just getting comboed. He's at sixty. Oh my god! It's like he's like he's losing the lead. Like he doesn't have a lead. This percentage matters so much. And then I'm just gonna let it play. Oh, he just can't win it. Oh, barely he is. And then oh, he sends it the wrong way. Oh my god. Oh, right there, dude! That up B! Oh my god! Oh my god. The one play he could have made to not lose the set, dude. The one play he could have made. Look, watch the crowd. Watch the crowd. People are hugging and crying in the crowd, dude. It's like it's like we just got back from war. That's what Toph says. It's like we just won a war, dude. I was I had tears in my eyes from that set. Oh, or from that game. Oh my god. And then he comes back, wins it in game five. This is big. He's so it's uh, beautiful, dude. Boom! And it's over, dude. And even left it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll the banger. He gave it up. Yeah. He gave it up. This 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 set was like good. look at the people in the front, dude. People are <laughs> like, oh, that, and that's why me, melee's so sick, dude. That's why melee's so good. Look how skinny Mega was. Those um, C9 jerseys would go to Grayson. That, that was a great design. What about yours? Oh, God. I need a more prep time for this. I okay, I'll go to mine. I mean, if I think of my favorite sets of all time, they're far more my set. Personal sets. Is that all professional? That's fine. Like my favorite professional? Like my favorite? Yeah, either. I think I To me, this is the greatest melee set ever. I was also there live. And okay. that's why my voice I think is. that makes a big difference, yeah. Permanently damaged uh, voice vocal cords. This, this set was nuts. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Like, this is where I learned what a tournament winner was. But our, our, I believe, actually, HBox was down 0 2, correct? Situation. We, yeah, you know, right now, HBox up two games. Nope, he wasn't. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I, don't, I don't think so. But Armada was down 0 2, came all the way back, and ended up losing set one. Go to set two, the final games on stadium. It was a super hype. It's Evo Grants. Uh, Armada, I think, was about to win a second Evo in a row. And Acebox had never won an Evo. I don't want to watch this over right here. We can admit the pop off was bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if I want an Evo, I'm probably crying. Oh, the rest when he came back. Oh, okay, hold on. We got to go back. The rest! Also, the. Um, 
I love Toph's call on um, Big House. He's like, all right, gets Hbox. Three, two, one. Ah, I love that thing. But Hbox should, or this is Armada's dominance stage. He won everything almost. Not and this it. was like the yeah, not this. It, this was the start of when Hbox was really took over the game. Yeah, this was like the beginning of H God. I love Hbox. I st I think somehow he's an underrated melee player still. Yeah, he, he dominated the game for three. Years. If he's just, if he's not in your like top three of all time, I think you're. Yeah, I think H top three all time is uncontested Mango Armada Hbox, and I I think the fall off from that is so massive. Yeah. He, he was number one. Was he number one like three years in a row during the gods? So the issue for H Fox is that now he's bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. The issue is what? What did you say? Now he's not as good. Why is that? Compared at least he's not playing. Armada oh, yeah, no. playing. Yeah, Armada was so good though. No, I yeah, agree. I, Armada, I, think, I, think Armada one, I, I would put H Fox over Armada at this point. I still have Mango at one. I have H Fox at two. I have Armada at three. For but, time. but look at this! He almost threw a 3-0 lead. He's at 100%. It's like, how are you coming back from this? Against Armada? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is crazy. I think you can actually see me in this video, by the way. There's no way. There's no shot. I'm genuine. Zero percent chance you can see you in this video, dude. Hold on. We'll find it. You're not gonna. F it's like where is Wando, bro? It's like you might not even be in it. I am. I know where I was sitting. Oh, I love Mega, dude. Or not Mega. I love H Box. He He's Clutch Box, baby. He did. He did Clutch Box. If you guys don't know what a tournament winner, it's when you think the correct option is to jump. It never is. Everybody reads it and you die. Well, no, it's not even that. It's because you're in so much lag in melee. That you can always react. And that it's called a tournament winner because it loses you the tournament. Also, just want to let you know, uh, Armada might still be sitting there. <sighs> you know what is crazy? Neither of us mentioned an ultimate set. And I've competed, both of us have comp competed in ultimate way, way more than in, than in melee. Bro, you're not in this video. I am! I found myself! No, you didn't. Yes, I did, dog. I gotta remember. I was here. This was the first time we were in Mandalay Bay. It was what, so sick. Chuck, what's your favorite will... ultimate set? You have one off the top. I, I, I have one off the top. I know mine. I don't have one off the top of my head. That's crazy. My favorite ultimate set. Oh wait, Spargo. Um, like was godlike, and Tweak Leo Evo was godlike too. My favorite one, favorite ultimate set ever, Salem versus Leffen at SmashCon, dude. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, that was oh, a yeah. banger, dude. Right after he released all the- I think the... that's me right here. Where? That's the blue. The blue. <laughs> Bro, there's no shot. Bro, I swear! There's no shot. You're so dumb, dude. You are so dumb. There's no he chance. He's the blurriest picture of the crowd. He's like, I'm in there. Oh, wait, actually, was that- Here, go back a little bit, like five seconds. Oh, pause. Like, oh. Right to the right? Like, top right? Like, is that you? Like, over there? In the, in the, no, a little higher. Yeah, like, oh, just right there. You see where it's Nailed like, it. lights are out and you can't see anything? Is that, is, that, is that you right there, man? <laughs> this no one, is where no I sit, chat. I'm telling you, it was me. Hey, if, if we could smell the video, we could find you. But, what about oh. Nairo in Zero's 56 win streak? That, was, that a was a good set. I didn't watch it live, though. I did. I was actually at a Lubbock Old Storm Crow tournament, and I lost my color that night. That set really? was incredible. Yeah, I lost my color to blank. Wow, that's embarrassing, dude. I sucked back then. Xbox was so skinny. All right, um, y'all tell me that ain't me. Yeah, he's been with Liquid so long. He, he's an owner now. He is. You, you tell me that ain't me, guys? No. You're crazy.
That's me. He's still sitting there to this day. What do you mean? Uh, that guy Grayson, what's your what's your set? Grayson? Well, I said mine. I said I said narrow over zero to end the fifty six win streak. That was a massive set. I'm surprised no one said zero Sue. That set was crazy. No. It's corny. Yes, it was. Chris Best versus Net one, two, three, four. That is a set for the ages for sure. Riddle Have you ever watched that? Collision? Chris Best versus what? Net one, two, three, four. No. It's uh it's a very infamous melee set. From E though. He's probably gonna have you pull up something raunchy on your. Yeah, hold on. It's Kane. <laughs> can I can I pull this up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's round one pools of Evo, and it's like the worst melee gameplay you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> like they look, like <laughs> yeah. This looks like me playing melee. Yeah, it's like it's really bad. Game three. He died off of the side from forward air. <laughs> Tipper forward air to finish the set, dude. Popped off. Let's go. I mean, winning, winning a streak. I was Evo. at this Evo. Two, three, four. Yeah, it's the same Evo. Chris Best. You're, oh, there you are, actually. Holy shit. Shut the hell up. I think I see Chuck. I think I see Chuck. I was probably wearing my USA jersey, so you might be able to find me. Dude. Chuck watched the two best tournaments of all time at the same turn. That's crazy. Yeah. Yes. This was crazy. We were trapped in a corner. Fun fact, guys, this is where we were trapped. All the way over here, that's where we were. That's where all of Ultimate or Smash 4 was. The entirety. That guy's so pissed. He's like, God. I love Scar. I love Scar's commentary. We could talk about that one later. Um, but no, that set was really good. Well, Scar um, and Blur, because they know Chris best. Like, they're, they're like uh, friends. So it's like they're just dogging on him the whole time. It's uh, I I love listening to Scar, uh, you know the iconic, yo, did he just walk up slowly? Oh. That oh, that one's got like um, anything on the couch really. It, um, Summit was so good, but yeah. So those are our favorite sets. Uh, we could talk about more another time. What is that? Uh, Grayson, pick one with actually respectable people in it. Yeah, I did. I did name two bad people. That's true. It's I can't my, even see it. It's my yo. Did he just walk up slowly? Oh, sick! Hoodie. Yeah, no, that that was godlike. Um, I do love how obsessed they are with Mango. There's like whole. If you guys have not seen GR Smash, like, but watch it before it gets taken down. Okay. Dude, um, but, we're, we'll have to do our like Mount Rushmore of Smash players at some point because I think Scar would be on mine, like undoubtedly. On your route, Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Are you talking like most influential player? Are you talking yeah, for me? For me personally, yeah. Players? Like, Scar? Yeah. Like I killed Mufasa Scar? Yes. What? What a day. We, we, we can save that topic for another week. All right. Here, here's the last thing we're doing. Screw it. The loudest moments in Smash. Watch GR Smash, guys. These moments are all legendary. I remember watching this live. This was so sick. You watch this free for all with Smash Ball on? Do you don't remember? This is from the Invitational. Frog's uh, in it. Turn this trash off. Why are you even doing it though? You don't remember this moment? Uh, uh, this. This is a long time ago. Bad situation for Does Axe win? Zenith? I don't remember. No. But yeah. Watch GR Smash. They have a lot of really great videos. <laughs> Look at how sweaty Hacks. Look at his Hacks' hair, bro. Dude. Hacks <laughs> is the definition of sweaty. Dude, the disrespectful moments is great. Team combos, hello? Taunts. Oh, dude. Remember in Big House when... Um, Lucky paused on West Balls. Yeah. I hate that in Ultimate plays have been like, that's my stock, I won. Or or the, the very famous Professor Pro clip for PM where he's playing Snake. Oh yeah. Eh. The dances on him, yeah. <laughs> like it, it's uh, like this video tech this whole series is technically gonna get taken down at some point because 
Nintendo. Mm -hmm. But they got a lot of really cool stuff. Like, even the disrespectful one is hilarious. Yep. Man, I want to see him uh, abuse the... Uh, the one of his oh, wobbles. He's this from Texas. Is this, this is, is it. Wobble him. Wobbles is, oh, it's wobbles is great, dude. West Balls might be out of this. Tournament. You know what? You know what? I'm done. Bye. I'll see you. West Balls is the most entertaining player to watch in the game. I don't care. He's no other player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so funny. Off, sets over, Dude, this was Wobbles' guys, first coming out tournament, I think. <laughs> Dude, his water bottle thing is so funny. <laughs> oh, he said. <laughs> when he was imitating Wizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this 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 combo just doesn't make sense. Stitch I, into into Stitch, like come on. I cl I quote that a lot. Is that Bizarro Flame? Oh my gosh, y'all don't even know who Bizarro Flame is. We need a KO show where you guys have numbered cards and rate the top ten rage moments. That was sick. The rage the rage moments are legend. I already know my favorite rage moment and from the series. Well, I know, I know you love K9, so it's probably a K9 moment. No, actually it's this girl. She grabbed her control by the cord and she was cradle slamming it. She wasn't even on stream, they stopped the stream to watch her rage and she slammed that thing like six times. I'm talking she was jumping, she said mm, she's throwing that thing down. It was so funny. Oh. Here you go. Uh, Noah, this moment, I swear, was an accident. That's got to be an accident. No. The laser? No, no, no. Not an accident. No shot. It had to be, bro. No, why would it be an accident? He Mango's meant to shine. Mango's no. playing fucking amazing. You, if you meant to shine, you're you're getting side beat by accident. You're not getting... That's 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 real. Dude. You're talking about the guy who kept waking up H boxes, H box for missing rest with jab and just dashing back. No, that, that's that's yeah, that's on purpose, dude. Mango also just gave a homie stock this last that big house. Yeah. Yep. It's so hard not to like Mango, dude. Dude, Bizarro Flame always did some crazy stuff, dude. You remember the Salty Sweet? Him versus, uh... What's his name? Um... This is MVD. Hell yeah. Jeez, really? Heck yeah, dude. I miss me. Like, the, I think the one biggest benefit Procon has over GameCube is the, the screenshot button, dude. The fact that you can just... I, like anytime oh you kill somebody, God. dude, is so funny. The little smirk. He just knew he was like, ah, uh, yeah. Do they show the? Oh, this one's pretty crazy. Um, I always laugh at when uh, Lucky my, uh, Falcon Punch my case for children. Yeah. Okay, done. Imagine if you lost Evo like this. You mad? Look at that guy. <laughs> Homie stock. I did that to. Uh, Here it is. That's disrespectful to everyone. Yeah. And then Agebox just walks off, right? Eh? To you, that was just disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. He, he his mental crumbled so hard that he gave up. <laughs> he, he, even if I win this, I didn't really win this. So I don't yeah. Win. yeah. Oh, here's the clip. <laughs> this is this has got to be the best one. This one's so good. He <laughs> gave. <laughs> Like I mean, come on, that's legendary. That's gotta be the best one. Dude. Oh, dude, PM Snake's so cool. PM Snake is so sick. I used to hate it when Diotti would trank me, and he just—he'd literally said, me. "He's like, night, night, get ready," and then he just throw me up and kill me. 
Oh my gosh. This is this is this is what Nintendo doesn't want you to have, dude. This right here. You know what I mean? They really don't. Like, hey, happiness? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. How wrong we were. <laughs> that's that's Alagiri anytime she sees Alec or what's it called Lucina? Yeah, you already know what he's saying. My dick! My dick! <laughs> Oh, oh, this is Pop-Off's listening to you. Search in the crowd. Melee at Army's very own Mango saying, I've waited so long for this Th Was this the three vote? Or the, uh... No, there's the... Yeah, there's the second one. He's fighting. Because he beat Wobbles the first time. Hungry Box beats Armada. He is... He is Curse. Which is technically liquid, so he'd still be on the same team for that long. Yep. He, he still, he still has it. We might he just have another it. game. High recovery, Wait. smart stuff. He can't reach. He gets the air. And it's game! The other is K9. Oh. K9 Dude, K9 is so... Up. I will be the Kicker Smash! K9 the <laughs> he said, let's go! Bro, the head swipe let's work. Go, Dude, P plus tournaments used to go so crazy. K9 is in the building. His hat is on That whole era of Smash was just... He's ready. Not enough. He's ready. Like the like the 2013 to 2015 era. Oh my God! Even like 2012 to 20, 2015, I guess. Not on camera anymore. He ran away. Xbox is so extra, dude. Oh yeah, always has been, always will be. And he's a wizard. No one expected Hungrybox to take a set from PBMD here today. Especially not after. Someone put it on his head. Into a grab, but he can't rest. He can't see more. Oh no! Oh my God! That's his head glitching. I've never seen a bubble like this. His glasses. The glasses are gone. Do y'all remember the? I forgot what the tournament was called. It was when HBox beat S Fat and he slammed the CRT. Yeah, that was, that was an Evo. Mm -hmm. right no, it was not. It was a small oh, tournament. Uh, a small uh, different Dude, all time bad pop ups. We can put a the Cody Schwab reverse pop off. That that was, I remember pop -off watching that live, dude. All time it, bad. It was so bizarre. It was like surreal, even. This is where it all began. <laughs> Did USA win this crew battle? I don't remember. Probably. Yo, can I, can I get a camera on me? Tax money, baby. Alright. Oh, no oh, chilling is funny. Oh. Alright, gentlemen, are we ready to wrap it up? Our two yes. hour podcast? Yeah. Look, we got one more pop off. And then we're done, team. That might be it, actually. He killed TK. Oh my god, did you hear that? He said sometimes it works. The Cleveland Browns. Wow. All right, guys, with our two-hour podcast, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Uh, next week, it's probably going to be on a Thursday as well because I'm most likely out of town. Uh, going, And we're all three probably going to a Freaks Regional um, and entering doubles. Oh, you know what we could do? There's a Trinity event. Is there? There's a 3v3 tournament. Really? If, uh, if I get my controller fixed, I'm down. Look, I, I haven't played three since Smash 4. Hey, you have to be a theme team, though. Okay. What, are, what would our theme be? I don't Who's, know. Who do you play, Noah? Uh, I play Fox and Falco. Spacey so band? we have to play Wolf, Wolf, Fox, and Falco? No, Chuck, we... We probably got to cater to Chuck. He's got the worst pockets. Do you, do you play a Pokemon? Actually, Trinity is 3v3. All characters must be from the same game or series. No duplicates on the same team. Smash does not count. If you need to help with clarification, they'll ask. Um, if you have multiple Pyromythras on the same team, you must lock on a specific character. If you're using PT with a team of different non um Three PTs, one Squirtle, one Charizard, one Ivysaur. I think, yeah, I think that's what you'd have to do. But we could 3v3, guys. I have to get my I'm controller good. fixed. I'll let you know. Get get your controller fixed. Make it a I don't, know how be, I don't know how it'd be viable. It's just like the KO show. Hello? Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're branding. 
We're vibing. Oh, well, we got okay. a break. We talk about it later. Yeah. Team. It's, it's happening. Chat, make sure you guys attend this tournament as well. Put it in chat. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by this. Other than that, um, Marth shouldn't be in the game, according to Noah. And other than that, we'll post this episode probably later. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We're not going to do shoutouts because we stayed too late. So other than that, I'm Chuck. Noah, bye guys. See you guys. I'm Grayson. Peace. Goodbye.